Alright guys, so this first tip is called spin counter. Basically, you wait for your opponent to shoot and then you counter him as soon as he pops that head up and try to get that one shot in the face. You might miss your first or two shots, but majority of the time you'll probably get him like in the second or third time. Sometimes the first shot, they don't have a hat on. So, let's talk more about the spin counter. When you see someone spinning and moving fast in a crouch motion, that majority of the time means that they're very good players and they know what they're doing. I'm pretty sure, almost 100% sure that I was the founder of that that type of meta, the spinning around and stuff like that, because I was doing that on day one. I deleted the live stream, but when online came out, or not even online, story mode, um, I was doing that, and I told everybody that that was going to be meta, and it ended up being meta. The reason I started doing that was because I come from um running gun community on GTA 5, so we did movements like that. Anyways, um yeah, so basically the whole concept to that is you're waiting your opponent out as soon as he pops his head up, you try to go for that one or two shot headshot and get that kill and then break into another spin. Yeah. Now I will showcase me getting countered by my opponent. So what he does is he just spins around. I'm missing my shots because it's hard to hit them while they're spinning. One more time, let me show you a counter from my perspective. Alright guys, so this is called a pump fake. Basically, I take a shot, spin, and then turn around. So it kind of fakes them out. Let me showcase it to you. Shoot. Go on to spin and counter them. Now for this move, I am founder of it. I created it a couple months back. You could go check out my channel and see it somewhere. Um, basically with this move, what you're trying to accomplish is when you're like in um, a little spin battle with somebody, you wanna shoot them. That way they think your head's gonna be open. But when they come up to shoot you you're already in a spin and what you do is right when you see him come up you're gonna counter them so that's why it's called a pump fake it's pretty tactical and it's very very helpful against fighting charhards alright guys this is called a left peak shot it's very self explanatory but let's talk a little bit more about it so as seen in the footage we're a little distance from each other. I instantly turn into a left shoulder swap. That way I have a better view of my left angle. Um, as soon as you see them pop their head out from that corner or wherever they're coming from, you want to either go for a headshot if they don't have a hat or go for a body shot if they do have a hat. On this next clip, I will show you why you shouldn't come out to the left on a right peak or a right angle, basically. And this is why you shouldn't come out of a left peak with a right shoulder swap. You instantly get fucked. Alright guys, this one here is called angles. This is a tip I've never revealed. Many pro players don't even know about this, but basically, all over the map, many places, on pretty much anywhere, you could get an angle to where your enemy can't see you, but you could see them and shoot them. Alright guys, let's talk a little bit more about angles. So, like I said, this is a tip that I have never revealed. Um, a lot of good players don't even know about this tip. Me and my posse that comes have been doing this, and not even all of our members have been doing this. There's only a, a certain amount of us that know about this. Um, it's a very, very tactical move. Basically, like I said, you could see your opponent and shoot him, but they can't see you or even get you in their line of sight. It's like your bullets are going through the walls or through the corners or wherever you're at. Um, 
these spots are everywhere pretty much anywhere you just gotta position yourself right in the next clips that I show you um, you'll see me fighting my opponent while him having angles on me and you'll see that the bullets are literally coming from the wall you can't lock onto him or shoot him or anything like that so here my opponent has an angle on me as you see you can't see any part of his body and he shot me in the head here's another example of me having an angle look at the bullets they're literally going through the wall and I'm hitting him and he can't see me at all watch the bullets as you see the hit marker I'm getting my shot and then I headshot him this is the table's turn nowhere to be seen but I'm getting hit and you see the smoke I'm even trying to paint you can't see him it's that easy if you learn your angles and know how to use them they're very efficient this tip is called right angles basically you want to always try to get your right angle on your opponent as you see we're playing cat and mouse but then if it keeps on going on consistently you want to do something unexpectedly and hit him with something that he won't see coming so when it comes down to being competitive in Red Dead PvP and I'm talking majority of the time showdowns when I make videos or anything like that I talk about PvP it's majority of the time showdowns or 1v1s or 2v2 something like that something very competitive free roam sniping and stuff like that it's not my style it's not really too competitive for me but I'll say this you always want to try to make sure you have the right angle on your opponent because when it comes to Rockstar games even on GTA 5 you come out faster with more momentum you know it sounds kinda crazy but it is how it is and it's true you have the left peak you you don't really have the advantage of that because on Rockstar games it's third person and when you aim you pretty much have your gun on the right side right so that being said right angle is always gonna be faster and if you are consistently fighting for that right angle hit him with something unexpected like I just did this is why 90% of shotgun shots are bad to the head he lost no health and killed me with a Lancaster so to talk more about shotgun shots um, majority of the time it's best to shoot someone as you lock on to them whenever you press L2 wherever it takes you which is in the middle of the body that's where you should stay and shoot them um when you shoot someone that has a hat on most of the time it's gonna block both shots or at least one but majority of the time 90% of the time it's gonna block both shots and you're not gonna do no damage at all none whatsoever at that time your enemy is already gonna be shooting you in the body and you're pretty much dead depending how far you are um, if you took a level 2 tonic level 3 or if he has damage cards or not but yeah only shoot someone in the head if you see him without a hat it's pretty much a sniper like that this tip is called max fit of view um, there's a setting that lets you change your third person field of view and I'm not speaking about how you could change different levels like I'm doing here I know by this point you're probably tired of seeing me fishing but anyways let's explain that so when you're like in Atlantic or you're fighting someone and there's a lot of um, boxes or wagons around you want to have your max field of view all the way turned up that way you could see over all the boxes or over the wagon or over a wall to see where your opponent is at all times and at that you want to be looking at your your mini map at all times as well switching back and back 
Um, it's very important to do that. That way you can see where he's at at all times. And you have better movements with that. And you're more swift with your actions. So when you finally catch up to him, you could come out as fast as you can with that right angle or a left peak. Alright guys, this tip is called Houdini. Basically you can shoot through walls as long as you get an aim before he gets out of your view. It's a pretty good trick. There's really not much to say about this trick other than it is difficult to do. But when you do do it, it does feel good. And the other player would be like, what the hell just happened? Um, a lot of people don't do it because it takes a lot to, to get it done and get it done perfectly. But then again, it is fun. So I suggest y'all try it. All you got to do is get them in your sight with your camera. And then lock on to them from the other side. This is a spin dive counter. Basically, y'all start off in a dive. And to end that, you just break into a spin. As you're going to see me do right now. And the main reason behind this tip is not only to counter your opponent and do it with a fashion. But you only have a certain amount of times you could dive before you can't no more and all your stamina is drained. So you do this before that happens, break into a spin, and as soon as he comes up from that dive, you're gonna get that headshot. This is a very advanced trick. Many people don't do it, but hopefully after this video, a lot more players will start doing it. Here's another tip guys, make sure your dead eye core is always filled. Never let it get in the red because it does mess up your aim very much unless you're in the first person um, as you see here I'm missing a lot now let's talk about my settings I use wide aim I turn it down one tick aim assist strength I use standard my look sensitivity and look acceleration is all the way up dead eye all the way down never use first person so don't mess with it hold to run that really doesn't matter though um, display always have your radar expanded helps a lot during showdowns um, weapon reticle have it dot or simple that's honestly preference so really doesn't matter I use dot unless I'm not using dead eye then I'll switch it to uh, simple this is a third person field of view, always have that high. I explained that on one of my tips. Also, it's important to have camera follow level off. You want that off. Well guys, that's it for today's tips and tricks. Um, I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video like this, mainly because Rockstar hasn't given us any content or any changes to anything. And there's no point in making the same videos that I have already made. Uh, meta ain't changing I don't think it's gonna change for a while until they do some major with like mechanics or add some cards or something like that but yeah guys um that's it for today um if you like the video make sure you leave a like share comment tell me what you think there's some more tips here and there but I think these are the the major tips that a lot of players should learn especially using painted black I say it all the time that Painted Black is a superior Dead Eye card. It pretty much is the best Dead Eye card. So, yeah, guys. Um, also, there's something new that I added to my channel. Basically, a feature I turned on. If you're on PC, you possibly will see a applaud button by the like and dislike button. Basically, if you hit that, it will let you donate $2.00 to support me um, <clears throat> I do get all of that money um, right now it's only available for people watching on PC it's still in beta and I'm pretty sure it will come to mobile soon anyways thanks for watching guys stay tuned and please subscribe